Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel Indie Do by Fafa Mi awezo lo Indie Do by Fafa Nye ya Koba Indie Do and Mi Kwele Fafa Come on Indie Do and Blon Fafa I love the flavors of Ola So I went to my local grocer and I got a box of fresh figs. Yes, I got them for three pounds. And on my way home, I was kind of excited. I was like, oh, what should I make? Because it's the fig season. And yes, it's such a short season. So you need to make the most out of it. Up until the time I got the figs home, I still did not have an idea as to what I was going to make. But it was important that I did wash my figs, yes. So I've got my water here and I'm adding salt. I'd allow this to just sit for about two to three minutes, yes. So if anything, if there's anything dodgy, it would come out quickly, you know what I mean, yes. Then after that, I just wash it clean, as you can tell. And I think I am ready to, you know, do my shenanigans. Now, the interesting part about this fig was I wanted to make sure it looked good when I finished with it. So even though there was that little tip of a stalk there, I was like, now nah, I'm going to cut into it. That really wasn't necessary. So I think when I did the first one, I was like, oh, why did I even challenge myself that way? Anyway, so the second one, I was like, oh yeah, I find some shortcut because this was my lunch. And yes, I know you're like, say what? As you can tell, I am cutting this into four quarters. Um, however, I'm not cutting it all the way through. But on this occasion, I am cutting this through because I'll be using it for another recipe. Yes, there is a method to my madness. And you can see that I'm arranging this in like a circle. May I say a circle logo logo line? <laughs> no. So my fakes are ready and I have preheated my grill to 175 degrees so now i need to add some flavors i looked in my fridge and what do i have salami which is smoky and beautiful now you can omit this all together but it makes a big difference you need to taste it because it's got that smoky flavor and yes it's got that little fat in there as well that just like Mm -hmm. This is one dish that is so quick and easy to make. So if you want to surprise your guest or your family or your friend or your loved one, you know, simple thing, but Charlie, it looks all ornamental. And your guest will be so impressed with your skills. Shh, don't tell them that you learned it from Indu Dubai, Fafa. Hey, no, please tell them. Hey, what was joke? What kind of joke is that? Anyway, so I'm drizzling some olive oil as one does and i'm just going to grill this for two minutes reason is because i just want that fat to just sort of melt slightly so it can actually you know go into the fig because i don't want to overcook this now i'm adding my mozzarella so i've just cubed some mozzarella and stuffing that in it's not any other food though. if this is your first time you're welcome and thank you very much for tuning in now this is my honey that I've infused with some garlic. So I call it my fermented honey flavor. In the absence of that, because then again, this is gonna be available on Buy and Do soon. Yes, you can use your normal honey, not a problem. And I'm just drizzling a little bit of that over it. So I'm having that sort of garlicky sweet flavor that is just gonna permeate through. You think I'm done, oh no. Of course, I'm um, just adding my pepper, but I omitted salt. The reason is because the salami also has salt. So as and when one needs the salt, they can add to it. 
I've just got some dried lavender and I'm just drizzling with a little bit of that lavender because I love the smell of lavender as well, especially when you're baking with it or grilling with it. It just, you know, gives or oozes this amazing smell. So after five minutes at 170 degrees in the grill, I end up with this. Now immediately I take this out. I'm now going to incorporate another flavor, which is the aniseed. Yes, inkitinkiti, <laughs> sukoni. Because that aniseed flavor pairs really well with the salami and also the mozzarella would just absorb that. And you've got a little lavender tang there. I've just drizzled it with a little bit of olive oil and here I've got my mint flowers. So I'm just going to add the mint flowers to about two of them and this would give a different kind of flavor or depth to the dish. So once my guests are enjoying it, they'll be like, oh my gosh, everybody has a slightly different flavor to it. But my guests did not enjoy this. I had this myself. It was incredible. Look at that. Uh, I just cut through it and I had that with my Precocet tea. Yes, you're like, what? I know. This is not any other food. This is in Dubai for far. So as I mentioned earlier, if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button whilst you're here and the notification button so you do not miss any future videos. Yes. And to my loyal subscribers... I love you guys. Like, I really do. You guys are incredible. You're encouraging words. You're leaving your comments. You're liking the video. Hey, please don't forget to do like it when you leave a comment as well. Share with your family and friends. Let's make this channel bigger and better. Yes, definitely. Because the more people watch it, I'm then able to also bring more and creative content. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm having my lunch. This looks like it's not going, but it's definitely going. <laughs> I hope you are inspired to try this recipe. Now, naturally, I'll leave the list of ingredients, including the measurements and the transcript of the recipe on my blog, indudubaifafa.blogspot.com. There are also incredible recipes that you can try, like my amazing salad recipe, which is part of my jollof rice seaweeds, the stir fry okra, which is excellent and i've also got this beetroot and yogurt salad and we've got the kinky juice yes please do try it now norel thank you very much for my theme song yes and also i'm on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat as in do do bye for fast so do pass by and say hi until my next creative video with you guys take care of yourselves please wash your hands use your hand sanitizer boost your immune system and don't forget to wear your face mask when you do go out. Yes. And also binge watch all the Indudu recipe videos. You will see the growth, how funny some of the videos are. And yes, I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video.